Hello everyone, my name is T.A. Speed and welcome back to Bridgecraft. This is episode 14. Now, as you can see, we are here at Spawn. At Clark's, as me and Roger like to call it. And we are here at our town hall that we started and finished the exterior of last episode. I've also put in a second floor and spiral staircases to get there. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with the inside of this space really now. Um, I think maybe a meeting room up here. Maybe a gallery. We put together some artifacts or something from the server. Don't know what we've got really though. Because uh, resources just get used over time and we didn't do this when we were, when we were uh, starting out. But uh, yeah, the inside is coming along nicely. I've planted some big, big spruce trees around here. As well as some little ones outside Siege Supply over here. And some nice azaleas up here just because I like the flowers on them. But I don't really know what we're going to do for this episode. Maybe we should consult the book. So, let's go and do that. Hmm. What can I build today? Path and gateway for siege supply is done. Improved spawn is mostly done. Iron farm is mostly done. 10,000 glass is a lot of glass. Tree farm, coal stone generator for automated like. Hmm, I think we could get a couple of these smaller farms out of the way. We can do a honey and slash comb farm and a cocoa bean farm. So, let's go do that, shall we? What do we need to make a honeycomb farm? Other than bees, obviously. We've got a couple of bee nests, plus another one up there. We've got three. Hmm. I feel like if we get some comb together, we could make. Uh, I need shears. Get some comb together, we can make some apiaries, the, or whatever the other one, beehives, I think they're called in this. The, the non-naturally occurring bee houses. Uh, and then we can breed up some bees, and we can have a nice big bee farm. I don't think I'm going to go for, like, the super compact, the bees go to the flowers directly outside their house type deal. Oh, that, that never worked when I built it either. But yeah, um, we're going to go... Uh, I think we're just going to make one big open free-range space for all of my bees to live in. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. That wasn't Silk Touch. Oh, I've messed this up. Oh, no, my bees are angry. Whoops. Should have used the hoe. Or the shovel. Why did I think that had took touch on it? What? Am I? Okay, I'm down to two bees nests. Well, that was smart. Good job, me. But I think there's a couple of other bee nests mine called Beeralis nests because of the texture pack. But uh, we're going to need some fires and some other bits. Uh, so I'm going to go cut down some trees, going to gather some resources, bring you back in when I've done that. Okay, I've fixed my mistake of not having silk touch on my axe, and I've gone and just grabbed a fire. Because as far as I know, we don't need them inside the machine. I don't think the bees can get angry at the dispenser that does the, the, the honey slash comb collecting. But yeah, so uh, I'm now going to go out and uh, up down a bunch of trees, make some more space. Or, or actually, you know, I need something to go on top of the uh, the old Creeper Farm V2 over here. We could put it over here. Yeah, let's do that. I just need to leave uh, access down into it. Oh, thanks, baked potato. Nice. 
Get out of here. Great, on fire. All these in here a minute. Right. So, I sure I could put a bee farm in between, tear out these trees. Ooh, it feels a little bit stuttery today. Still working, actually? You know, I've not, I've not checked if this is still working. Find out. I've been in the area. Yes, it is. There's iron in there. Good, 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 good. Just what we want. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hello, sir. Actually, I think about here would be perfect for a bee farm. We don't want anything massive or anything overly big. So, something about this size will do. So, let's tear this out, flatten it out. And uh, I'll try and figure out a design. I also need to make a pumpkin and melon farm. Better one than my existing pumpkin farm. Oh, so many little farms to make. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to flatten this out and start getting some uh, some stuff in place. And I'll show you when I've done that. Alright, here we have it. We have um, just a very simple design of literally just thrown together with our two bees nests. I know there's at least one bee in here. Um, I can't say how many more because I've not seen any others than that singular bee. I hope there's more than one and we can breed them, otherwise uh I guess it's off hunting for bees, which I'm probably going to do anyway. But it's a, just a nice simple system. I need to build a collection mechanism. But it, this just relies on the comparator output from a bee's nest. Then loops it back up on itself. Nice and compact like, so just using whatever I've got made saves me having to go and make like a bunch of... Uh, what are they called? Not resistors, that's that's a real thing. But repeaters, that's it. Getting the words now, I've only played this game for a decade or so. But uh, we, we're going to go now and hunt for some more bees. Make some more bee juice collectors. Honeycomb collectors, that's it. My grasp of the English language is not great today. But yeah, we're going to go find some more bees, hopefully. And continue populating our little bee farm. And uh, I'll let you know when we're all done. Oh, hello, there's bees here already. But yep, yeah, I'm going to wrangle these bees. And uh, then, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. All right, so um, when I said that I'll see what happens and I'll get back to you, I got a little carried away. But we have a just a complete little simple bee farm in here. I do want to mix up the flowers a bit. I think the yellow is like the least interesting flower, especially on moss, because moss is already sort of a yellowy green. But yeah, we've got some bees in here. We've got four or five. I need to breed them up over time, obviously. Got some of these, but it is working. We've got some honeycomb. For some reason, I need to figure out exactly what's going on in the back, because some of the uh, redstone set wrong for some reason. But other than that, we've got a nice little simple bee farm. Uh, ignore the smoke coming out of there. I just chucked a fire in the back to light it up temporarily. So I could go and grab a torch, which... Well, there's nothing more permanent than the temporary solution. But of course, the advantage of working over here, we keep the iron farm loaded. Which means, actually, I can grab some poppies to mix in. I think of that. But, yep, here we go. All the bees are out. Hello, bees. Ah, oh, they're not ready to breed yet. Mix in some more flowers for them. And they'll generate us a ton of honeycomb. But look, yeah, this one's not worked right because it's in the back here is set wrong. Wait, no, that should have worked. Okay, so for some reason, it just doesn't work right sometimes. Also, it doesn't chuck it in the hopper sometimes. It's not the best system in the world. 
In fact, I'd say it's far from it. But worst comes to worst, we just run a hopper mine cart along under here. To, uh... Okay, now you don't need on breed. Damn it, can't repopulate my bees yet. But yeah, we've got all the bee rallises flying around. Big fan of Corallus. <laughs> Love his build styles and everything. Kind of an inspiration for this overall build here. Modern style, but, you know, it works. We might have to come in and uh, tweak it sometimes. Get it fixed, but other than that, it's all good. Need to find a use for all these poppies. Maybe start a dye shop. Don't know. Also, I think I'm going to swap out this sandstone with mud bricks just to tie together the aesthetic here. I'll do that in between episodes later. So all I need to do now is basically make a little collection room down here where we can uh, grab everything out of the hoppers. But other than that, our little bee farm is done. So that's another one we can check off the list. Yeah, I'm really beginning to think that I'm going to need a bigger storage room soon because I'm running out of spaces for everything in here. So it's, uh, it's not great. But, anyway, we're going to consult the list and see what's next on the to-do list, I think. So, we've done a honey slash... We've done a comb farm for now, but all it takes to convert it to honey is chucking a bunch of bottles. Uh, sort of made a minigame. Coca bean farm, I think. Oh, iron farm's done. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make a coca bean farm, then. So, what we need for that is our redstone box, which we already have. And uh, jungle logs. I think they can grow on any logs, but jungle logs are just the traditional. So therefore, I'm keeping it original. What's going on up here? Let's get this out of here. Ow. That was fun. You can tell this is where I've cut down a tree before, where Ender has been placing random dirt blocks. Bloody Endermen. Yeah, if we pop up here, this is... Okay, right, you know, I'll sort that out later. I need to cut down a tree. Uh, let's... We don't need a huge, huge coca bean farm. We don't really have much call for coca beans. So I'm just going to get a little a tree, like this one here. And chop it all down. And then... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll build a, just a nice straightforward coca bean farm. Okay, so now I just need to figure out a place where to put the coca bean farm. And I reckon it seems as we're in, uh, industrializing over this way anyway. Might as well pop it over by these other farms. Keep it all loaded, that way when we need it, it'll be ready. But it seems as coca bean farms generally require interaction anyway, we don't need to do anything fancy or automatic. We can just do nice and simple uh, manual control on this farm. I'm going to pop it in this gap here, I think. I do need to come through and light up all of this. I'm probably going to do a lighting up the jungle, or lighting up the swamp live stream sometime soon over on my Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash speed. Right, okay, so this is just super, super simple. One, two, three, four, five, six... Let's go with six. Six long, because we don't need a ton of... Actually, you know what? No, let's go eight long. And what we can do is go up like this. There we go. And this will be our wall of coca beans. So that means even if we just use the two faces of the wood as opposed to the uh, end faces, that will be a stack of coca beans to replant every time, but obviously we'll get a higher yield than that. I need to tear this out here. And what we need to do now is go... I'm doing this sort of tutorial style, but I am no way... I'm in no way an expert at redstone. 
I just happen. Well, I just happen to uh, be not terrible at it. I happen to be the best person at Redstone on this server. All right, so what am I doing? That's what. Yeah, I'm building a cocoa bean farm. Okay, so because we need to have, we need to have an air block between the upper pistons and the uh, logs. What? For some reason, I'm just completely forgetting words today. It used to be an ongoing theme with me. Getting words. There we go. Like this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the property of moving a block breaks the crop. It's nearly poetic. Yeah, breaking the moving the block breaks the crop. So what we're going to do in this case is we're probably just going to have it activated by a button or something. But we're going to have just a nice straightforward system that pushes all the logs up and then pushes them back down to their normal resting place. And it is super, super straightforward. Uh, in terms of, like, redstone doesn't require timers or anything. It just requires, like, a repeater for delay. Because all you need is for the bottom ones to fire first, and then the upper ones to fire. Like, you can even do it as soon as one tick, but I'll probably put a three or four tick delay just to account for server lag. In, but yeah, so now all we need to do is run wiring to the pistons and obviously give this building a shell. Which, uh, I'm not sure what aesthetic I want to go for. Probably the same as I've done most of my farms in, which is mud brick. You know, I have really fallen in love with the mud brick block. I think it's a lovely shade of brown. And it just goes with the swamp so, so well. But let me just demonstrate what I can do here. So if I have any redstone on me, which I don't. I am well equipped. Right, let me grab some dust. Like so. I'm up. And then back down on myself. Oh, good catch. Run this along. I'm not... This should work? I think, but like I say, I'm not an expert. Yes, there we go. So basically, what we want to do is we want to just power this line up here and after the line down the bottom here line down the bottom is going to be a bit more of a pain to power i think but yeah anyway i'm going to get all this done and then i'll bring you on in when i've got at least the harvesting mechanism built uh, i'm not going to start the building yet okay so it works you just press the button. Uh, it does this one first, just due to, due to the fact that this is powering that piston there. But it works. So, all we need to do now is encase it in a building, uh, add some lighting, and plant some cocoa beans. So, I'm going to get on that. A torch. Got some torches, light this place up. Yeah, I'm going to get on that. And... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do then. Hello, bees. Oh, it's not bloody working properly again, hasn't it? Right, this might need a redesign. <sighs> Looking at it, for some reason, it never seems to work properly. I do not know why. Because we can clearly demonstrate this receives power correctly. Because it works when I do that. Over there. See, look. Get out of here. Oops. Back here. I'll need to look into this. Unless, of course, I just need to. Does that help at all? Yeah, we'll try this as a fix and see what happens. This is what happens when you don't design your projects before you start them. You end up having to do this all over the shop. 
But anyway, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's night time. Let's go sleep. But anyway, yep, I'm gonna plant this up. Maybe change out the floor. If we could just leave it as an open air farm. Then just put a roof on it or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out and then I'll show you once I've done that. Okay, we have just gone super simple, just brick floor, mud brick backing wall and everything. And I think this is as far as this project needs to go in terms of encasement. It doesn't really matter if anything gets near our coca beans or anything. So let's go and try and we'll see if we've got any coca beans for starters. And then we can fill our farm up. And we have a fantastic simple little coca bean farm. Brilliant and simplistic. Where might my coca beans be? If I have any? Food plants? Nope. Nope. Okay, let's check the old base. If not, we go to the jungle. Let's have a look at what we've got over here. Oh, there's some. Found some. Ah, found some more. Fantastic. This is a good enough starting point. Seems there's a farm will, you know, grow more. Fill itself up. And we just cover each of the walls over here. Like that. And then we just let them grow. Let's see if we've got any gunpowder there. Ooh, look. This is always a sketchy hole to fall down. Oh, we have been generating a little bit of gunpowder. This farm does generate passively while I'm in the area. It's not the most efficient. I haven't lit up any of the caves around, but it does the job well enough. And you know, more gunpowder is more gunpowder. When you fly everywhere, you need rockets. Yeah, look, there you go. It's simple, just starting to grow. And we'll harvest it in a minute. Uh, tidy up my inventory. It's a mess. But I'll just put that repeater there. As you can see, by the way, I have gone and crafted a whole stack of sticky pistons and a whole stack of regular pistons. Ready for all sorts of machinery. I went to some people's bases and traded them some smooth stone for some cobblestone because I have tons and tons of smooth and not much cobble. Mainly thanks to this project. This project was great for resources. Who'd have thought digging a, a hole down to uh, down to just above bedrock would be beneficial for stone? Yeah, oh, look, there you go. We already, already got one fully grown. But now I can just demonstrate. And bam, look at that. All broken. Already making a profit. Off of our coca beans. Actually, this is good because we're going to need this for ingredients for the Great British Bake Off. Uh, Great British Baking Competition, completely distinct from any other uh, events called Bake That was quick, bloody hell. Yeah, legally distinct from any other um, baking events that might sound similar. TM. Or whatever. Yeah, it's a parody, really. Come on, bees. Come out. I need to breed you up. I will say, actually, my temporary fix over here on the iron farms worked perfectly. I've not had to reset their beds at all since I put it in. So I'm quite happy with that. Just um, It gives them the chance to sleep every night, which gives them the chance to reset their beds, which prevents the issue I was having. So, yeah. Nice little just upgrade. A daylight sensor set to night mode. A piston. And some glass. It's great. Come on, bees. No, the bees don't want to play today. That's fine. I'll get these slowly bred up and then we can get more and more honeycomb. Or actually I think honeycomb is probably more use. Copper's a popular block. And we can wax the copper. See this this is why I need to go through and light up the forest. Because these guys keep camping me. And it's annoying. 
So yeah, we've got two nice new farms today. Nothing spectacular. One of them needs a bit of a rework. Is it being a pain in the backside? Hello, cat. But other than that, yeah, it's all going quite well. So anyway, that is all for today. I have been TA Speed, and this has been Bridgecraft. And I shall see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching. And have a good one. Take care. And goodbye.